Today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Brainiac Action Figure by Mattel. This figure is part of a two-pack called Clash in the Cosmos, which includes both Superman and Brainiac. And this video will focus just on the Brainiac figure. And I'm not sure if a separate video will be uh, created for Superman, since the only difference uh, between this Superman and the others are the uh, painted eyes. But uh, this set uh, was first released in 2008, I believe, and uh, I'm not even sure when I got this set. I think I got this set in 2010 or 11, and I do remember purchasing uh, this set online. I saw it uh, online at a web store called uh, Entertainment Earth, and I'll post a link in the description down there. And I did see it for on sale. Uh, it was really cheap. Uh, it was like 14 or 15 dollars. At time. Taking a look at uh, Brainiac here, you can see uh, a more classic uh, version of Brainiac there, uh, which is interesting. Now, I'm not sure if this figure was previously released from the DC Super Heroes line. Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. But uh, it's nice to have uh, this version in a DC Universe Classics form. And you can see he is wielding uh, one uh, accessory, a blaster. And we'll go into that blaster uh, when we get this figure out of the package. And uh, taking a look here, we have the back of the package here of both uh, Brainiac and Superman. And uh, we have a picture of Brainiac there. And a biography and statistics uh, for the character. And also here we have a preview of uh, another two-pack set of Batman and Clayface. Now we'll be right back and have Brainiac here out of the package. Alright, we're back and we have Brainiac here out of the package. And uh, it's a very nice figure. Uh, I thought this was a re-release of a uh, DC Super Heroes figure, but it's not. Uh, there was a Brainiac in the DC Super Heroes line, uh, but it was his more... Uh, uh, robotic or metallic form. Uh, this uh, particular figure is a first uh, uh, a, uh, Brainiac in his uh, more classic, uh, I guess, uh, design and also closer to the Super Friends uh, TV show. Uh, taking a look at the uh, items first uh, before we t uh, take a look at the figure. Uh, and uh, this particular Brainiac in the two-pack came with uh, one accessory, and that's a uh, blaster. And taking a look at this blaster, it's actually uh, pretty nice, very detailed in the sculpt on here. And it's uh, cast in this uh, gunmetal uh, type color here. And you can see all the sculpting details. And uh, this is a pretty interesting blaster in that uh, it did not... Uh, originate uh, with this figure. This came included uh, with a, another uh, figure set. Actually, it's it's the uh, armored uh, Lex Luthor uh, figure from the DC Super Heroes uh, line. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And also, this uh, blaster is uh, supposed to come with pieces of kryptonite. But because I guess this was uh, reused uh, for Brainiac, they did not include it. But um, I do happen to have an armored Lex Luthor, not from the DC Superheroes line, but from uh, another two-pack set uh, where this uh, particular figure was re-released. And uh, interesting enough is that uh, with this uh, particular version of Lex Luthor, he came with uh, various colors of kryptonite. Uh, like the uh, DC Superheroes line, but no blaster. So it looks like uh, they moved the blaster away from the two-pack uh, Luthor and gave it to uh, Brainiac here. But uh, you can see uh, one of the crystals or uh, kryptonite pieces, a uh, green one, is supposed to slot in to uh, the blaster. I'm not sure if I'm doing it correctly. I believe that's how it's supposed to go to fuel the uh, the uh, blaster there, the kryptonite. Uh, so if you have different the other uh, kryptonite pieces, you can slot a red one or a blue one, or in this case a green one into the blaster here. 
and that's how it's supposed to uh, supposed to properly be used but uh, the Brainiac figure does not have I guess the crystals or kryptonite pieces but still it's a nice uh, blaster if uh, reused as a generic type blaster for the figure and uh, the Brainiac figure does uh, wield it uh, sufficiently has a nice uh, solid grip it doesn't move around in his hand so uh, that's uh, kind of cool and it does fit the other hand as well where it's a little bit looser but still a uh, solid uh, grip uh, on the uh, on the blaster there so pretty nice now taking a look at the uh, Brainiac figure and uh, it's a nice figure like I said again uh, more uh, closer to his uh, classic uh, version but since uh, Brainiac has taken uh, several forms over the years and uh, this is uh, close to his first appearance but not quite I think in his first appearance the color of his boots are more like a purple like his uh, torso here I think this is closer to the Super Friends uh, uh, cartoon series uh, where he made appearances in uh, where he has the white boots and but it still uh, retains most of uh, the costume uh, design here and uh, taking a look at the Brainiac figure here it's actually uh, kind of neat uh, it's a basic design but added little bits here and there to make it unique uh, such as the collar on his shirt here uh, which is nice nicely sculpted in I believe it's glued into place there and of course uh, the unique uh, head sculpt here you can see uh, Brainiac here uh, very nice uh, head design uh, of course uh, you got the bald green uh, head here uh, with the diodes uh, sculpted into the top of the head there and it's actually uh, nicely painted and nicely sculpted and you can see uh, red uh, dots at the ends of the uh, I guess you can call them diodes on there so uh, pretty nicely done uh, not too much bleed I think just a little bit of bleed here in the central one here and uh, just a tiny uh, bit of bleed on the edge of that but uh, otherwise it's very clean uh, especially uh, with the black here the white and the red it's uh, actually uh, quite neat and he's got a stern expression on his face and uh, the color green that's uh, showing up on my video screen is actually lighter than what it is in person. If you look at the uh, figure in person, the uh, green shade to his face uh, and uh, hands and the leggings, or legs I guess, here, uh, are a darker shade of green than what's showing up on video. Uh, so uh, don't be uh, uh, dissuaded uh, by the... Uh, color here so oh and so another nice detail on this uh, particular figure uh, you got these uh, I guess you can call them veins uh, popping out of the side is of the temples and it's actually on both sides so that's a nice uh, added touch there of detail on there and also the uh, furrowed uh, the brow there and the wrinkles on the forehead there it's actually uh, kind of nice I really like that on there. Uh, taking a look at the rest of the figure, it's the standard basic uh, buck, you could say, of the uh, DC Universe Classics. Uh, not too much detail other than painted detail on the forearms here, the belt here. Of course, uh, again, yeah, you have the sculpted collar, which is nice to add uh, more flair. And uh, you got the painted uh, or pants, I guess, on there and uh, also painted boots uh, which is uh, not sculpted just simply painted on on there it's actually uh, a pretty nice basic standard figure overall you can see here uh, the plug uh, where if you had a cape or wings on a figure uh, this is uh, where it would peg into but uh, since Brainiac doesn't have that uh, they just plugged it in there um, not too uh, much uh, to, uh, to say uh, bad about the figure uh, other than just minor scuffing here on the shoulder but uh, otherwise a nice standard figure a classic uh, Brainiac figure which is uh, very nice going over uh, articulation uh, the head of Brainiac here can go all the way around as well as uh, up and down uh, quite a bit which is uh, very nice 
as well as uh, side to side. So you can get a lot of emotive posing uh, with the head there, uh, which is uh, very cool. And the uh, arms can go all the way around at the uh, shoulder area, as well as uh, out and in. Uh, the arms can go all the way around at the uh, bicep area. There's a single uh, hinge joint uh, at the elbow that can bend uh, in and out. And the hands can go all the way around at the wrist. The torso allows the figure to bend uh, down uh, quite a bit, up and uh, back uh, quite a way. So lots of range there because there's no cape or wings uh, to hinder the uh, movement of the torso there. And uh, the torso can go all the way around at the waist as well. The legs can go uh, up, uh, back down and towards the back slightly as well as uh, out to the side uh, at the hip area which is nice. The uh, legs can go all the way around at the uh, lower thigh area. You get a nice uh, swivel cut there. And the uh, knees do bend on a single uh, hinge joint there. And the feet uh, can go up and down uh, quite a bit. And uh, even though uh, this particular foot of the DC Universe Classics is sculpted uh, with ankle pivot, and you can tell because uh, the, the hinge joint there is a separate piece from the foot there. Uh, but it, uh, very little uh, ankle pivot on there, even though uh, it's designed uh, to have an ankle pivot there. Which is unfortunate. It would have been nice to have uh, some posability at the ankle uh, on the side to side. Overall, a great figure to have if you're uh, building a Legion of Doom or uh, just uh, want to have a classic uh, version of Brainiac. And uh, you can really only get him at this point uh, with the 2-pack, uh, which is no longer available uh, at uh, retail. You have to uh, look for uh, through third party. Uh, this is my uh, casual peek into the DC Universe Classics Brainiac action figure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.